You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Vladimir Zelensky swept in power three years ago, promising to end the war with Moscow backed spiritless in eastern Ukraine. He is now faces a Russian invasion that could result in overthrow of his government and end the Ukraine democracy. Zelensky, a comedian turned politician, took an oath of the office in Ukraine's new president in May 2019 who grew in a national fame in a TV comedy portraying a school teacher who unexpectedly becomes president after pupil films him making a foul mouth trade against corrupt politicians and posts the video online. His campaign exploited the parallels of the fictional narrative, portraying him as an everyman who would stand up a crooked political class. As his fact act, he dismissed the parliament still dominated by loyalists and his defended prosecutor Petro Poshimiko and the smaller parties calling an election within two months, giving his new party a chance to win the first seats. Ukraine's most pressing issues conflict with its neighbour Russia, with an annex in Crimea region in 2014 and back Spermis in the War of the East and killed 15,000 people. Zelensky said first task was to achieve ceasefire, adding the dialogue could only happen after return of Ukrainian territory to prisoners of war. In September 2019, Ukraine and Russia completed a landmark prisoner exchange. In December 2019, Russia's Vladimir Putin and Zelensky, in their first face-to-face -face meeting, took part in nine hours of talks in Paris, broken by French President Emmanuel Macron and German Chancellor Angela Macron. The body language between Putin and Zelensky was chilly. There was no public handshake and they were avoid eye contact. In January 2022, Zelensky hosted US Secretary of State of Antony Blinken for talks in Kiev aimed to defusing recent tensions with Moscow. There was growing fears from the West with Russia could attack Ukraine. The United States said it would send 3,000 extra troops to NATO members, Poland and Romania. Washington and allies said they would not send troops to Ukraine, but warned severe economic sanctions if Russia President Vladimir Putin takes military action. Zelensky had urged people to stay calm about the threat of the Russian attack and said there was work in progress to bring about the meeting between the leaders of Russia and France and Germany. Russia launched a large-scale invasion of Ukraine on February 24th, Putin sent an authorised special military operation designed to disarm Ukraine, defend Russian speakers from prosecution and prevent the United States and its allies from using the country to threaten Russia. Russian forces began missiles and artillery attacks, striking major Ukraine cities including Kiev. Ukraine has dismissed Putin's claims of persecution of denies and the threat of Russia from Ukraine or Western countries. It says it's fighting an unprovoked land grab. Moscow has accused Kiev of stalling peace talks and using reports of aircrafts committed by Russian troops in Ukraine to undermine negotiations. Russia denies targeting civilians. In April 2022, Zelensky said that there was a high risk of talks would end, blaming public anger with what he said the Russian aircrafts committed as they retreated from parts of northern Ukraine around Kiev.